Okay, so run me through it again. What do you think I should do for my intro? Just be like, welcome back to Garrett Hunts. Today we're talking about wildlife. Let's get into it. Hello. I'm oh. Garrett. This is my channel, Garrett Hunts. to Garrett Hunt. Today we're going to be talking about walleye and how you can use their unique traits against them. So remember if you learn anything new today or if you enjoy the video hit the like and subscribe button down below but without wasting any more time let's get into it. So the obvious fishing strategy to start off with is live bait. I unfortunately don't seem to have any on me at the moment and I'm not so sure I'd want to throw it on my table right now if I did. But I do have jigs which are essential when walleye fishing with live bait. Common baits for walleye fishing are leeches, night crawlers, and minnows. That may sound simple and straightforward, but there is more to learn and take away from that than you may think. When most walleye fishermen use leeches, they're using ribbon leeches. Very, very few lakes or rivers with walleye have ribbon leeches. On top of that, walleyes generally hang out around drop-offs and deeper areas, making it that much harder for them to ever develop a taste for night crawlers or leeches after a hard rain washes them into the water. So what's the takeaway? Walleyes are very curious fish. Despite them not knowing what exactly they're looking at, they still won't shy away from taking a bite. In fact, there are many fishermen that believe using a bait not native to the body of water you're fishing will improve your chances. 90% of leeches you'll find in a bait shop are ribbon leeches. Nightcrawlers can be bought just about anywhere and minnows work for just about any fish. So next time you're out walleye fishing and not having any luck, think of what the walleye there may already be preying on and try switching it up. Seeing as I already have the jig heads out, let's talk about how a walleye sees. The first thing anyone notices on a walleye is their eyes. Why are they gray? Walleyes have an extra layer of reflective pigmentation over their eyes that intensifies even the smallest amount of light in any kind of water, no matter how dim. Now this doesn't mean they start going blind in shallow or clear waters. This is purely a predatory advantage walleyes have over any other fish nearby. So how can we take advantage of this? Well, because walleyes can see light colors so much better, we can be sure that we're using lighter color lures and jigs. Walleyes see bright oranges and yellows better than any other color and struggle the most to see dark colors like purple or blue. The jig heads I have on screen right now are in order from hardest to see on the left to easiest to see on the right. This will come in very handy when fishing with live bait or using plastics. Walleyes tend to bite most as the sun is setting and the light is quickly diminishing. It allows them to use their unique eyes to their advantage over smaller fish. But now that we understand how it works, we can turn their advantage against them. So now that we have an idea of what they're biting on and know what color lures we should be using, we need to know when our window of opportunity is. As I said before, walleyes tend to bite most when the sun is setting and the light is dimming into night. Well, that gives us a good time of day but what days should we be out there fishing? If we're looking for a time of year, then your best bets for catching walleye will depend on where you live. If you're fishing anywhere that would be considered south of Minnesota, then your best bet would be fishing in May. If you're fishing anywhere that is north of the Minnesota-Iowa border, then your best luck will be in June. Can we get even more specific than that though? We sure can. We just learned that walleyes have a very unique sense of vision that they can use to their advantage. So, our best bet for fishing walleye will be on cloudy days. Without much light in the waters, the walleye will be fairly active throughout the entire day. Temperature will also play a big factor on what days you'll have the best luck. Walleyes favor water temperatures between 55 to 75 degrees. When the water temperature gets below that mark, it slows down their metabolism and they are fairly inactive. When the water temperature starts to rise over the 75 degree threshold, they move to deeper waters to stay cool and continue hunting. So, mark your calendars, check the weather, and watch for water clarity. Because when walleyes have the edge, so do we. Now, let's talk about what we can use for walleye fishing when we don't have live bait. As I said earlier, jig heads and plastic tails still work well, but I've talked about jig heads enough today. The good news is that we've already covered most of the information you'll need to select a lure. Because with little to no surprise, Color will be the biggest factor, and we've already established that brighter colors will work best. The key thing to know now is how deep you want to fish. 
This will all depend on temperature, which we also discussed already. Generally speaking though, while I like to hang out near drop-offs, so you'll want a lure that can get down into their sight. Crankbaits and jerkbaits are obviously contenders here and will work just fine, but spoons will work just as well for walleye too. We also talked about how walleyes are very curious fish and they won't shy away from biting at something they don't recognize. So don't shy away from those mimic minnows you've been saving in your tackle box. In short, there is no holy grail lure of walleye fishing, but we have already covered almost all of the vital information in selecting a lure. Know what color you should use, know how deep you want it to go, and most importantly, know where and how to use it. That'll do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Helps me out a ton moving forward. But until next time, good luck fishing. Thank you.